Yes, some cars I'm more excited about driving than others. Today is one of those exciting days. Today, Porsche Centre Melbourne have given us the brand new 911 Carrera, the 992. They've given us the Carrera S. It's in crayon. It is an absolute joy. Melbourne's given us some sun. And this is the eighth generation of 911. So I've been driving this car for a little while now and the interior is extremely new. It feels lovely. It took me all of a minute to get used to this. I've spent a lot of time in the old interior Porsches, which I really loved, which I didn't really see much requirement to change. But now they have changed them, it just looks so good. It looks so refreshing. There's a little gear knob here. Now this is this has had a lot of grief given to it, and I don't really know why. I'll tell you. In fact, I do know why because everyone's got grief to give, especially to Porsche, especially to especially to models that have been so successful for so so long. It's like if Cristiano Ronaldo has a bad couple of games, everybody's on his back. One little thing that someone doesn't like in the new 992 everybody's on Mr. Porsche's back and it really doesn't matter because this damn thing is beautiful there's a nice shelf here there's a lot of digital um, but not too much to to make me think that I don't know where I'm going I know my way around everything still all this used to be analog the five um, the five dials here used to be analog and I used to like them now they've turned digital and I can play with them and the whole screen turns into a map and various other little bits. It, it, it just looks fantastic. It feels like the obvious, the obvious development for where it was at only a year ago. It looks lovely. One thing that is irking me slightly is I can't see the petrol. So the petrol is on the far right or the, the time and weather over there. The far right and the far left dials this big meaty sport steering wheel is in the way so I can't I can't see them everything else just feels great this shelf in front of this nice big Google map screen the technology has gone again to a new level over here it's, it's just fantastic this all just looks so very plush so nice and it's so easy to use this shares a lot in common with the GT2. A lot of the learnings that Porsche made, and they're great at this, a lot of the learnings that they made during the GT2 development have now made their way into a, a base Carrera. The steering, the, the electronic steering that so many people have, have an issue with is marvellous. Okay, it might, you might not be able to feel every nook and cranny of, and, and, and feel it on the edge, but it's a better car for having the steering column. And there's no two ways about it. There's a lot of opinion pieces, but it is a better car for having this. The safety is great, the, the brakes. I like driving with, um, with right foot on the throttle and left foot on the brake. And it's so easy to balance it kicks in when you need it and they're elite brakes the the stopping system is almost as impressive as as the starting system toby always makes me uh, go past the, the 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 girlfriend test we say how are the rear vision mirrors looking they look beautiful decent sized mirror the nice uh, hollywood lights on the outside except with all porsches 
I can only see in the rear in the rear left passenger. But for me, that would be magnificent because that's where Faith would, would be sitting. This would be the family car. Faith would be sitting in the back and we do have ISOFIX. What's ISOFIX? Become a parent and then you'll understand. Very important stuff. Very practical car we're driving. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flick it into sport mode. I'm going to open the window. I'm going to accelerate. And I'm going to see if any of this comes through. Because to me, it just makes me flipping smile. And I get, I'm getting passionate about this because I like it that much. And I'm annoyed because I really like the 991. Now that rumbling that feedback is just terrific the Porsche have one better it's called Sport Plus and you flick it across into Sport Plus and if I'm right well immediately immediately we downshifted a gear everything went up and i am started feeling these bumps Imme immediately the, the whole ride is just firmed up it's not going to be the most comfortable for uh, Toby sat in the driver's uh, passenger seat but that's okay it feels like a race car right now it, it just feels so power it just feels so ready um, one thing it doesn't have in Sport Plus is because Porsche have now noted that Sport Plus is pure attack mode all power all everything goes into this making this car get from A to B in the fastest possible way in the most outrageous fashion so the exhaust that small bit of energy that went into the exhaust system to make it blip and make it um, burp and make all those amazing noises it actually gets downplayed in Sport Plus so in Sport Plus the car is much more an attacking car much more rigid going around corners hard just stays flat and attacking but the exhaust doesn't quite make the same sound. So which, is, which do I prefer? <laughs> Just cruising around, I love mine in sports all day. But wow, in Sport Plus, this thing just seems, just seems so rough. This isn't even a spectacularly bumpy road, but I reckon if someone dropped a $2 coin on the floor, I'd be able to feel it. us the chance to flick it over into Sport Plus and try the launch control. I don't know whether you want to point it. <laughs> if we had an in-car camera. <laughs> I think Toby has just eaten his camera. <laughs> well, I love the thought of having an electric Porsche. I love the thought of the Taycan. And then Porsche have thrown in this 992 and I am just absolutely overwhelmed by the sound, the guttural feeling, the driving experience. This thing is absolutely elite. And it's been a great day driving it. The only sad part about me is I've got to give this thing back. It's lovely. I don't really have much bad to say about it. A 
fantastic experience. Once again, some wonderful things are coming out of this Porsche, uh, Porsche brand right now. I'm a big fan of the Panamera, the Cross Turismo, the Sport Turismo, like the, the, almost the shooting brake version. I'm a massive fan of the Taycan coming, the new KN. They've just got all sorts. They've got a great range, and they need to because there's a lot of competitors hot on the uh, hot on the coattails. It's a difficult market now, the luxury car market, and all you can do is put your best foot forward and put in great, putting great products out, just like this. Luke for the Mattias Group.